Hi there, Chris Deering with True Plans Inc. Uh, we've been asked what is the biggest difference between us and others uh, when doing the design process. And so I'm going to share a few things with you, a couple of them a little bit more on the minor side, but a couple of them I feel are more of uh, what really makes us unique. So first of all, um, we've been told that we, we listen very, very well. So we like to listen up front, hear your wants and your dislikes, your likes, uh, your wishes before we even open our mouth. Uh, and then also what we do is we like to guide uh, we like to guide you into the design, explaining why we recommend certain things. Uh, we don't just dictate design. Uh, this is our design style, uh, whether we're doing ADUs, room additions, JADUs, remodeling, or uh, high ceiling conversions. By far, the biggest thing that makes True Plans unique is that we use uh, live 3D editing. Okay, so there's... Um, there's a few steps that we take, uh, and I'll just tell you those up front. Number one, we do a scope meeting. The scope meeting, this is uh, usually a short, uh, a short online meeting where we're simply reviewing what we talked about perhaps in the home evaluation. Before we even start uh, moving walls around, uh, we wanna make sure that we've, we're starting with a, a fresh, uh, all your priorities and goals in mind. The second meeting we have is a layout meeting, and this is a layout in two dimensions. Uh, it's uh, either on paper or screenshot. Um, we're not doing the 3Ds just yet. Uh, this is usually a one to two hour meeting. Uh, it can be done at your home or it can be done online. Uh, this is where we, we start showing things with uh, our recommended layouts, dimensions of available spaces, uh, how that space is gonna be used, and this is where we talk a lot about the four design principles. If you remember the other video, appearance, function, uh, building code, and budget. So we edit the layout in front of you, even in 2D, uh, so you can see all the dimensions and the flow of the design. Uh, once we get a suitable version for you that you like, uh, then we schedule the next meeting, which is known as our live 3D editing session. So what is this? Um, you know, it's not really easy to look at two dimensional pages or sheets and fully understand what it's gonna look like at the end. So uh, 3D is used, but there's different types of 3D. There's static 3D, there's motion 3D, and there's live 3D editing. We do all three, but let me explain the difference. Static 3D, these are printed or screenshots of the space that we're designing. They're a picture from a particular point of view uh, in your design, but they're static. They're fixed. They don't move. Motion 3D is just that. We can create a 3D video walkthrough uh, to help you get a little bit more of a feel of how the space actually flows when you're in it and to see things while being in motion. It really does make a difference. But the thing that really sets us apart and that's hard to achieve uh, is what we call live 3D editing. So by the time we get to our 3D meeting, this is when we're finalizing, optimizing the plan. But sometimes we start moving things around because they just don't look right. This is when we move around in the 3D environment and we're using our computer software program. Sometimes we connect right to your big screen TV if we're at your house or we can share our screen while we're online. So live 3D in this environment, our teams have the training and the skills to actually edit the project in front of you right before your eyes. And I'm not talking merely about just clicking a, a finish, changing a wall color or changing a carpet from a, to a wood floor. I'm talking about being able to move walls, windows, doors, roofs, exterior features, elevations, entire rooms will reconfigure it during the 3D process, kind of like what we would do during the layout process, only now you get to see it. So that's what we mean by when we say live 3D editing. This process dials in your project. Uh, we call it optimizing your plans. You know, two dimensions, it gets you there more clinically in theory. Uh, 3D editing helps you uh, see the spaces uh, the adjustments and sense what it's going to feel like moving through that space. 
So, um, you know, is it going to feel normal? Is it going to be claustrophobic? Does it look too boxy? Should we angle a wall here and make it more of an open feeling? So not everybody can do this without you sitting there watching them struggle in the software programs. It takes an in-depth knowledge of the software's capabilities and a lot of experience doing this to pull this off. Now, we like to joke with our team members that are running the 3D sessions, uh, no pressure, right? It is amazing how much this tool uh, helps you in the end. Uh, the live 3D editing process can help you avoid unwanted design features that you didn't foresee and just optimize the space uh, for you in an ultimately the space that you're going to be living in. So this is the biggest difference, I think, with true plans in our design process.